Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. In this video I'll be showing you how you can install PHP on your Windows device and use it to host PHP scripts so you can run them locally. Let's get into the video. Ok, to get started open up a browser of your choice and head to php.net. You should head to this page here, click the download button Go to Windows Downloads under Current Stable, then select the zip file here. It should start a download. Once that's downloaded, let's go to the folder it downloaded to, and we're going to right click the zip folder and click Extract All. Just extract it to the same folder that it's in. There we go. We can now delete the .zip file and then rename this new folder that's extracted to PHP. Make sure that inside this PHP folder it goes straight to these files here and not another folder. Now that we've got this folder here we're going to move it to our local Windows installation drive. So for most people it would be the C drive named Windows or something similar. Drag it to your C drive or where you have Windows installed and as you can see we now have PHP in the same folder as everything else like program files and program files x86. Now that we've got PHP actually downloaded we're going to add it to environment variables so we can run the PHP command through command prompt. Close out of all the programs you have open and then head to control panel. Once control panel is open go to system and security. If you're not in this view here click view category. System and security and then system it should open the settings app here go to advanced system settings environment variables and then scroll down under system variables until you find path select that then click edit in this uh, list box here we're going to click new and we're going to type in the directory of that PHP folder we moved. So of course mine's going to be in my C drive and then PHP. Click OK, make sure that saves. OK, OK, and then close out of settings and control panel. Now that PHP is installed, we can go to our project folder and we're going to want to select the directory of it and copy that. We're now going to press Windows R type in cmd and then press ok. It should open command prompt. Ok, we're now going to type in cd space and then our project directory and press enter. This will put cmd into the working directory of our project. We can now type in php space dash capital S space localhost colon and then the port you want to use. It can be any four numbers really, I'm just going to use 8080. Press enter. Ok, so if it all worked correctly, you should get a timestamp and then it should say PHP development server started. This here is the uh, local host and port that we entered here and that's where our site will be hosted. So you can copy that and then open a web browser. If we now head to HTTP equals slash slash localhost colon the port we entered and press enter you'll see it's running the index PHP script we have here. We can also go to other scripts just like a normal website by going slash hello world dot PHP which is the other script I put in here. It also supports folders like sample folder slash let's see what files in there script.php just like a website it will also host other formats such as images if this video has been helpful please consider liking and subscribing as it really helps out if you've got any questions you can always leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to get back to you thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video